Time now for a bright spot of news brought to you by Paul's Designer Showroom on Lake Lorraine in Sioux Falls. They can brighten any room with a beautiful light fixture. We're going to brighten your day right now with some positive news. We've got the Snow Jam Comedy Festival. It officially started last night, and I've got a couple of local comics here with me. And then we're also going to chat with one of the comics that's on her way to town. We've got Chris Fryer here right now, and we also have Zach Drash. Zach, first of all, how you doing, sir? Good, John. How about yourself? I am fantastic. Now, you've been a part of the festival in the past, right? Yes, this is my fourth year doing it. And would you say it's usually a pretty darn good time? Oh, yeah. It's the best event of the year. And also here we've got another local comedian, Chris Fryer. Have you been a part of the festival in the past as well? Yes, I did it two years ago. I had a great time. Really enjoyed it. And things kicked off last night with two very funny comics, Mary Mack and her husband, Tim Harmston. You guys were there. Did you like it? Oh, it was a good show. I absolutely agree. Very good show. And Zach, what do you think? Who was better, Tim or Mary? Well, they both have such distinct different personalities that I... I can't compare the two of them because they're both fantastic. I agree. They were both fantastic. They started with Mary, then with Tim, and then the two of them together. Yeah, the dynamic was really cool. I did not know what was going to happen the whole show. I'm like, are are they just going to do two separate sets and call it good? I think they have such a unique relationship being husband and wife that... It's like they just have this entertaining podcast on stage after they do their own significant sets. So I think it's great. Well, we are excited to see you at Snow Jam. Thanks for chatting. Yeah, thanks for having me, John. Again, Zach Resch, one of the performers. And we've got Chris Fryer. Do you know what days you're going to be performing, Chris? I'm going to be performing Thursday at Remedy and then also Friday. So I have a set on Thursday. And then I'm I'm part of the... uh, the, one of the game shows that they have. Now, in addition to Zach and Chris, we've got a bunch of other amazing comics from all over the country joining us in Sioux Falls this week. We've got Julia Stone on the phone line right now. Julia, you actually fly in today, right? Yes, I do. I'm so excited. Thank you for having me. Yeah. And now, where are you located? Where are you from? Um, I live in Los Angeles, so I've been there since I was 10, uh, but I was born in New Zealand. That's where my family is from. Oh, very cool. So from New Zealand to L.A., so you probably, you know, I was going to say, I don't hear an accent of any kind. Did you move to L.A. when you were like a little kid? We moved to Canada first, oh. to Vancouver when I was five, and then L.A. when I was ten. So, so were, all... was your family like on the run from the law or what? <laughs> um, I mean, that's not the story that I was told, but who knows, you know. Um, no, my dad used to work for Air New Zealand, so oh, nice. we moved when he uh, was promoted. That is awesome. Now, how long have you been doing stand-up comedy, Julia? It's been about three years. And what was it that got you interested in getting on the stage and like sharing your weirdest stories with all these people you don't know? Uh, I think the only thing uh, worse than doing it is not doing it, to be honest, yeah. is really how I approach it. Uh, I'm not a attention kind of person, but I absolutely love stand-up. And I, it's the only thing that really draws me in where I just feel alive, you know? Absolutely. And so. if if people would like to come and see you, you're going to be performing. Are you performing tonight? Is it Thursday night that you're performing, or when do you perform? Yes. Yes, I'm doing the showcase tonight, and then I will also be doing the um, Saturday night. Very, very nice. For- and. And if, if they'd like to get the schedule, again, things kicked off officially last night, and we just had an interview with some of the other comics uh, that were there at the event last night. It was a great event. Um, so I'm not trying to rub it into you, but just letting folks know if <laughs> if you didn't get a chance and you're sitting in Sioux Falls right now, what in the world, man? Come out and join us. Don't miss any more of it. Be there starting tonight, at least. The entire schedule at snowjamcomedyfest.com. And again, Julia, I appreciate you taking the time to chat with me, and I'm excited to have you in town this week. Thank you so much for having me on. I'm excited to be here. If people would like to find you, are you online for like a comedy profile anywhere where they can find some of your stuff online? Yeah, if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's just aka Julia Stone. Very nice. AKA Julia Stone. Julia, I will see you in town today, I guess. Yes, I will see you soon. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Julia is one of the many very funny comics at the Snow Jam Comedy Festival. It's going on all this week. goes till Saturday. It's going on now. It started last night. All of the details can be found on the website. I'll give that to you here in a second. But first, I want to say thank you to the sponsors. Because you don't put on much of a festival unless you've got people helping to cover the cost. So huge thank you to Smithfield Foods, Valley Inn Hotel, Bruning and Lewis Law Firm, and your friends here at Sunny 93.3. Also, the silver sponsors are Sioux Falls Dent Repair, Lights Out Productions, Old Revolution, Blitzed Entertainment, and Bosses Pizza and Chicken. And then all the different locations that we go and do the events, too. Thank you to them and everybody involved. All of the details. And you can still get tickets at snowjamcomedyfest.com.